Hi, I'm Anne Cummins from City Artifacts Conservation. We specialise in the conservation of three-dimensional objects um, made out of a variety of materials, metals, glass, stone, mixed media, which is um, um, different types of materials together, like um, a timber with a metal, um, bone and um, ceramic, and um, timber, uh, as well as organic materials like timbers and ivories and bones. So today we're just going to show you how to retrieve your um, valued objects from um, a flood or um, any situation where they've been underwater for a prolonged amount of time. Uh, in a flood situation often the water is quite murky um, and quite dirty so the first thing you'll need to do is um, rinse your objects out. So we've got a few objects we're going to show you um, here. Um, with the different materials, um, so we'll show you what processes to do. So, something like a glass or a ceramic is um, generally quite um, straightforward uh, for rinsing um, because it's not uh, particularly harmed by um, water. So we'll just rinse off as much of the um, dirty water as you can and then just put, put it onto um, a tray or a carrier, something with a towel nappy, anything that um, is absorbent underneath. Uh, and then also, because you might want, need to carry your object to somewhere else, and when it's wet it's more likely to be slippery. So if you place it on a tray or something and then have a few of them and then um, carry them out. So our next object is a uh, hook thing. <laughs> <laughs> which is um, what we call a mixed media object. So it's got um, the ferrous metal, iron, and um, a timber handle. So just give it a bit of a rinse. And then we've got um, a teapot. And the um, family heirloom, the silver teapot. And there's something rattling around inside. So, oh, it's the handle. Oh dear. Yes. So the handles obviously um, there's been a bit of a, a home repair and that's um, not being able to withstand the the, um, the water and the handling. So when if things are broken just try and keep all the pieces together as much as you can because um, it's possible for conservators to put them back together as if you can keep them all. Um, so I guess it's also important when you're doing this is to strain your um, water um, at the end before you throw out all your dirty water. Maybe put it through a strainer so you can pick up any um, broken pieces. So we'll put it over to our tray and then just imagine we're carrying it over to our rinse um, station. And so if we start with our glass object, um, all we've got here is um, some fresh water, as fresh as you can um, find. So again, it might just be some um, water that you might need to strain somehow if you don't have fresh running water available. And then what we're doing is just brushing, just quickly brushing the surface. Um, to get is there a lot of pressure on that brush, Anne? Or? No, there's not too much pressure, just lightly. And all you're trying to do is just flick off uh, the right. dirt that's adhered to the surface. And, and the inside as well, because um, cause it's a vessel, it'll, it'll be holding a lot more of the dirt on the inside. So it doesn't have to be um, too thorough, just if you can get the, the bulk of the dirt off. And then if it's um, an object you can deal with later or if it's got damage, um, you can take it to a conservator and they can do a, a proper surface clean. And then just place it over onto, um, again, a dry absorbent surface like a towel or tea towel, whatever, whatever you have. Um, with glass, it's okay for it to um, to drip dry. That's not going to hurt it. But I guess it depends on how much time and space you have. So you can just um, gently just wipe it down to get the bulk of the moisture off it. It's a bit like doing the dishes, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done them for ages. Got a dishwasher. <laughs> leave it there to um, just to dry a bit fully. Also you'll see this um, this object has been damaged before and repaired so often if you have something that's been damaged before the dirt is more likely to get into all these areas um. so you just need to pay a little bit more attention with your brush just to... to and that area might up. also be weaker possibly? Yeah it will be weaker so when you're um, handling it make sure you handle it by the 
right. um, yeah. the strongest area, not by these areas okay. where it's been adhered before. Okay. So our next object is we'll do our um, teapot. So again, silver is um, fairly resilient to moisture, and obviously a teapot is used to holding moisture. But um, that's a good point. It's um, it shouldn't be um, in, like any any metal, anything that's made from metal. It will corrode with um, exposure to uh, moisture or water, and especially prolonged exposure um, to water. And the yeah. water is more likely to get into the nooks and crannies. And if you have um, areas like this where it's been soldered with another material that's likely to be the first place that you'll get um, the corrosion and failure. Yeah. Why, why is that? Um, there's a, it gets a bit technical but there's, right. um, with metals there's, um, there's the ac activity series of metals so if you have dissimilar types of metals together some are more reactive than others mm. so when you put them in direct contact um, with each other the more um, active and reactive metal is more likely to kind of corrode away. Oh, okay, the so you should really pay attention to those areas. Yeah, and just have a look if they're holding up. Like this one, just be careful with the hinge lid because, um, you know, with kind of rough handling, it might um, detach as well, like the handle has. Ah, right. So we've got quite a lot of mud and stuff inside, so you just fill up a bit of water and just, um, just run the brush around to get the, the bulk of your dirt outside and pretty much you'll see when it starts to run run fairly clean then you know you've got it um, but also could we if brush that out once it was dry if we were feeling we were short of time or something yeah okay. yeah you could do that and yeah. um, you know eventually if you have power and that sort of thing you can use a vacuum and right that sort of stuff. yeah um, but it's, it's really just to get the, the bulk of it out and also it's a good chance for you just to have a quick look over your object to yeah. see you know, if you've got broken bits and then you can look for the other bits if you've got pieces that are missing. Oh yes, yeah. yes, I see. So we um, need to keep our detached handle with our teapot. Okay. So we'll just bring it over here to drain. And with um, metal items um, as well, if they're pure metal and they don't have other um, materials like, you know, a timber or bone and stuff, you can actually dry them off. Oh, look Ooh, that was a good bit coming out. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can use um, a hairdryer to, to dry oh. them off as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. And is it, would you have it on hot or does it matter or what would you have, what setting would you have it on? Uh, I think you can, you can have it on quite um, warm and again it's probably a time thing really. Right. But um, what you could do is um, a lot of the moisture is going to um, stay around the crevices. Right, and yes. bits of joints and stuff. Yep. So you can let it um, drain here for a while and then just come back with your hair dryer and just do... a hook for um, you know picking up bags of chaff and oh. things like that. It's my father's, so oh, okay. and he was an orchardist, so he would have used used yeah. that for a variety of reasons. That's lovely. It's yeah. Ergonomic. It is very ergonomic. <laughs> it's a lovely a lovely tool. Um, so again, because this is already um, wet, do you can you just um, brush it off and get any of the um, excess mud and dirt off it. Um, and then because we have. Uh, timber mm -hmm. in this one and timber is uh, organic material and it's more prone to um, changes, dimensional changes when it gets um, uh. wet and damp and that sort of thing. So it's quite important for the timber to try and dry it out um, quite slowly. Right. So you wouldn't put it anywhere near your hair dryer or you wouldn't uh. put it in direct sunlight or anything. You'd probably just leave this to drain on the on the towel and let it just air dry naturally. Right. Um, if it was to quick what would happen to it if you 
Yeah, if you dry it too quickly, mm. um, quite often it'll um, shrink. Oh. And then you'll get um, cracking. Cracking, yeah. 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 The other thing is with, you know, if it was underwater for a very long time, you'd, um, the metal can actually expand as well. And um, that can cause uh, cracking as, as well. So. Right. But oh, I think for yes. short term yeah. um, submersion, you, sh you shouldn't have that sort of problem. Yeah. So would it, could you cover it with something, the wooden part, like to slow the drying yeah, down? Yeah, you could. With archaeological objects, we often um, suggest putting them you know, in a bag, a, pl a plastic bag for a while and not right. sealing it. Right. Because obviously you'd create condensation in the bag. But just um, have a small gap and then just as time goes uh -huh. open, you just slowly let more air exchange. Right, and yes. And just dry it out slowly that way. And you'd be careful of um, mould growth for that that's, too, you'd pay attention. And that's another issue. If you keep it yeah. um, damp for too long, you might have mould yeah. growing on it as well. All so, right. So is there anything else you think people should be aware of with objects and water damage? Yeah, I think painted surfaces are another thing. Uh, These objects don't have any paint on them. Yes. So if you have some delicate surfaces like paint or possibly even transfer those sort of decorations, yes. you just have to have a, um, a look at the rinsing stage. Just have a, a right. look before you brush because you can oh, um, yes. brush, brush them off and remove them. Mm. Whereas if you just kind of let them dry, even with dirt on them, a conservator is able to do what we call consolidation. Yeah. And they can re-attach, um, get an adhesive underneath to keep keep the decoration. Right. There. So it's it's just um, being careful not to do too much and just to handle them gently and have a good look over them once you rinse them mm. and you can see what is on the surface. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you very much, Jan. Much appreciated. Thank you.